Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Shrep Tech. I'm super excited to talk to Sue from the Spark AR team about Spark and uh, what we're doing with AR. Sue, welcome to Shrep Tech. Thank you, excited to be here. Well, before we get into the cool tech stuff, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you end up working on augmented reality? Yes, yeah, so I, I joined uh, the Spark team about uh, six months ago in March, conveniently the day right before mandatory work from home started. So really got to, I, I, I empathize with all the noobs who are starting remotely here and, and picking up a new domain and new teams. Uh, but I, I've been at Facebook for quite some time. I've been at Facebook with eight years, uh, which means I've worked in pretty much every building. Uh, and, you know, I think around last year, I knew I wanted to do something different. I wanted a different challenge. And I think AR was really the place where I, I could, which I really saw as like the bridge between mobile and the future. And I think once once I kind of got a hold of that, I was, I was pretty addicted. And I knew it was just something that I, I wanted to just dig into and, and start to learn. So it's it's been a really wild ride since. It's been fun. Well, okay. What is Spark AR? Yes. Same question I asked when I joined. Uh, so, so Spark is, <laughs> so I, I lead the product team on Spark, and, and Spark is the, the platform that powers all AR effects uh, across the family of apps. So we build everything from Spark Studio, which is the tool used to, to create effects, all the way to powering the camera and, how, and the delivery engine to show effects across, you know, to hundreds of millions of people today. And of course, you know, all, all the nuts and bolts in between from integrity to integrating you know, all the best technologies around tracking or computer vision you know, into, into our platform. And, and help help you know someone who's watching this understand well you know why is Facebook working in AR? What's a good example of a use case where someone using our products you know using AR really enhances the experience? Yeah, I think we we've seen uh, AR. I mean, f have just having been here uh, for a while. In case you haven't picked up in like day zero, but we care a lot about people, and we care a lot about connecting people. But, you know, in, in, in helping feel together, we take the example of, of the, the call we're doing right now. Uh, you know, I see you in your room. Uh, I'm in I'm in my room. But, you know, if we had like a shared background, uh, we, maybe we, that could help us feel closer together. Or if I were to use a face effect or, or do a game, that's a conversation starter to help us feel more connected um, over, over a shared experience. And so, you know, that's just an example of how we can really take the best of the of the digital world and and kind of really really deeply integrate it into these real experiences for people to help them feel closer together. You know, I think just having come into this role, I've I've started to really deeply appreciate kind of the superpowers that we have in playing in this AR uh, space. I think uh, one is just you know I work on Spark, but I get to have access. We get to have access to all of the best technologies that. Facebook is building out from the research team within FRL to the AI team, you know, to the XR tech teams, and and we can really leverage all of this uh, horsepower into our platform. I think that's one. I think the second is that we aren't just testing these in in a, in a vacuum. We actually get to launch these to billions of people immediately, which is pretty badass. Awesome. And then. You know, the third part is that it's just not us like, you know, me thinking through, you know, to your question, like this is a this is like one cool experience. We get to unlock this to hundreds of thousands of creators to, you know, to really anyone to be able to, you know, think of something that they dream of. Wait, you said we have hundreds of thousands of creators on the Spark AR platform? Yes. So, so to date, we have over 400,000 uh, Spark creators who have built content into our ecosystem. And I think we have around uh, over 1.2 million effects uh, on, on our platform. 400,000 different people who are making these AR effects for the, what, what, I mean, what does an AR developer for Facebook look like? What, what is the background? What's the community there look like? Yeah, so I think, you know, one of the things that has been really important to us in, in building out this, this product is to make it approachable to everyone. So it's a free tool. And I think what we've seen uh, in true Facebook fashion is just a wide diversity 
uh, of people building onto our platform. Uh, our, our creators uh, come from over 90 different countries. Uh, they are 55% female uh, and they nice. come from a wide, I know, wide range of, of backgrounds. And, and this is, this is, this is really uh, unlike anything we've seen. I mean, I think historically, even, it's, I mean, not really historically, just I think two years ago, the International Games Developer Association said that over, I think about less than a quarter of the developers were female. So just the fact that we have 55% female really speaks to the fact that we've democratized and, and made this new medium accessible to so many different types of people. And I think as a result, like we get to really harness the diversity of perspectives and, and this like incredible creativity that you wouldn't imagine uh, to really, you know, challenge our own biases as we as we build out the platform and also help inform, you know, new use cases as we build out future devices, future use cases, uh, you know, and future experiences using AR, using AR. So there's a lot of awesome stuff happening in Spark AR now. What's the future? What are the things you're excited about coming in the next few years? Yeah, on, on Spark today, we have 600 million people, uh, you know, using AR effects today. But uh, despite that scale, I will wholeheartedly say we are we are one percent there. Uh, and the reason the reason why I say that is is just the number of use cases that you know that we really hope we really see in, in terms of our future. I think. You know, people are using AR effects today to in their stories to help express themselves. But even with the launch of Reels and making that available, we see the, the types of content continuing to evolve, you know, from the adoption of music and audio to movement tracking uh, that, you know, the future of sharing will continue to evolve with AR as a big part of that as a medium. I think another one that, you know, we were talking through earlier is just, you know, video calling. I think the, you know, being able to help people feel like they are they are together. Uh, you know, one of the things that we're invested in is, is shared experiences so that we have like an activity or we can feel closer together with a shared background. Uh, these are all things to just, you know, help, you know, when people are, are talking to each other, make it a little more memorable and, and feel a little more connected. You know, one that, uh, you know, I mentioned earlier is, is commerce as well. We have you know, being able to, we have a, a, lot, a bunch of signal that with makeup try-ons today that uh, we're increasing buyer confidence that people, uh, you know, are more likely to, to buy that new lipstick. But, you know, our vision is really to continue to um, build the tools and to allow any brand to be able to uh, make this available to the consumers that they care about. And also new verticals like trying on shoes or trying on clothes. I think, you know, imagine a day where you could uh, put a dress on and, and twirl in it and feel the weight of the of the spin. I think that uh, that just makes shopping, you know, so much more uh, playful in a, in a very different way that doesn't exist today. Awesome. Well, uh, we could keep talking for a long time, but unfortunately we are out of time. So I wanted to say thank you, Sue, for joining us on this week's Shrep Tech and for all you're doing for the Spark AR community. Thank you. Thanks for having me.